Okay, really quickly. New fire, that's smoke. Spot fire in between Canberra and the other closest spot fire down south. And um, me being in North Canberra uh, now and during the 2003 Canberra firestorm, I can tell you now, that's exactly what it looked like in 2003. It's, it's an exact copy of what happened in 2003. That's what it looked like. It was a little bit blacker in 2003, but from North Canberra, that's what I was seeing on the worst day of the fires in 2003. And just quickly... It's disgusting. Anyway, that's the update. I'll, I'll put um, I'll put a map up and an incident report. I have to be quick because uh, I've got a lot to do. This is not the airport one. This is another one down south. Anyway, I'll show you on the map. See you. Be safe. Okay. Sorry, I'm sick of it. I'm just sick of it. Fire breaks out in Namadji National Park. That's south of Cam south of Canberra. Emergency services have declared a total fire ban in the ACT as an out of control bushfire in Namadji National Park reaches 1,800 hectares in size and burns 16 kilometres from Thawa. The fire is at a watch and act warning level and travelling in a south easterly direction towards Bomboyan Road. ACT Emergency Services Agency Commissioner Georgina Whelan, Whelan said the fire is however spotting up to five kilometres east and south from the main fire line. So that's spotting away from Canberra towards the um, already uh, fire ravaged southeast coast. Okay, so that's the fire there. That's Lake Ginandera. Uh, same place. Um, footage was shown of the hailstorm on one of uh, Never Lose Truth CAFTA's videos. Same lake at Belconnen, Lake Ginandera. That's the view. The ESA has advised that people in Thawa and the remote area of a rural, a rural, a rural valley could be affected by a bushfire near Bomboyan Road, Apollo Road, and Top Nas Road. Some interesting names there. I think we have a Devil's Creek or a Devil's Road or something down south as well. Um, that, I saw that mentioned in the list of places affected by fires um, in, in the snowies. Uh, anyway, um, sorry, there was a emergency services said fire was burning near Link Road along Smokers Trail inside the National Park in Tennant. Australian Defence Force and State Emergency Service personnel have started door knocking and residents who have been advised of the emerging situation will have their properties tagged for recognition. There's not enough um, fireys to go around um, to defend houses. Uh, I saw that earlier. Um, I, I don't know, can't remember where, but I read somewhere there's not enough fireys. They'll be knocking, they're just door knocking saying, um, get out or giving them updates, but don't expect a fire truck to park in front of your house and defend it because there's not enough. Uh, so that's the situation there. Landholders on Bomboyan Road and Apollo Road have been contacted to make sure they are prepared for the fire. Erindale College will be available as an evacuation centre if needed. Epic has been opened as a horse evacuation centre. Epic. Um, 
Exhibition Park in Canberra. That's what that stands for. Uh, that's where they hold a lot of events. Um, yeah, it's big. Um, they have markets there. They have all sorts of things there. Um, they even have a camping ground uh, so that people can come and, and stay uh, and um, participate in uh, markets. Um, yeah, so that's that place. Um, I went to a concert there. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, that's uh, in North Canberra. Um, as you exit Canberra uh, on the northern side. So anyway, uh, at a five fifteen p.m. briefing, uh, Ms. Ms. Whalen on Monday asked landholders in the area to activate their fire protection plans. Okay, so I. Uh, doesn't look like I need to um, get the incidents map up. Oh, maybe I will. Orientation. All of this is south of Canberra. And the big one is the original spot fire. The little one to the left is the new one. Uh, and it looks like there's a tiny little dot starting up as well. So uh, we have extreme heat conditions um, at the moment. Uh, it's too hot to go outside in the afternoons. Um, not very windy. Uh, the wind is blowing all the fires um, southeasterly direction. Uh, but it's not gusty or anything. It's not gale force wind. Um, uh, no sign of rain. Um, would be a blue sky apart from the spraying up there and yeah just very very hot our priority is to contain the fire she said Ms Whalen urged people in the area to stay up to date on the ESA's website and via its social media channels um, anyone uh, needing to keep updated whether they know people in the area or if they're in the area um, I've experienced uh, unreliability with the ES ESA map. Um, so uh, just use your common sense. Um, and if it looks like uh, you have to go, go. Don't rely on this map. Um, I find Twitter, if you just Google New South Wales fires now, um, or Canberra fires now, put that in Google search and the latest Twitter announcements will come up. I am not on Twitter, but I've been checking Twitter in regards to the fires because it's more reliable and more up to date. Um, so I highly recommend that as an alternative if the map seems a bit dodgy. Um, she described the firefighting conditions over the next week of hot weather as challenging we have a tough seven to ten days ahead of us. However, the ESA commissioner said she was confident that emergency services personnel were capable of undertaking the operational tasks ahead of them. I don't know how much longer this article is. Uh, Bomboyan Road has been closed from Namadji Visitor Centre and south from Shannon's Flat. Access to the area is restricted to residents, local landholders, emergency services and Australian Defence Force personnel only. Another picture. Uh, trying to figure out whether that's looking from Red Hill. Looking from the top of, yep, Red Hill lookout. Uh, just here where my dot is, that's uh, the hospital at Woden. I used to live just on the other side of this hill uh, that we're looking that we're looking from. So that's how close it is. Um, if you do not need to be in this area for your safety, do not enter or return. ACT Chief Minister Andrew Barr said the fire was generating a lot of smoke, which was affecting Thawa. We're encouraging these residents to stay indoors and keep up to date with the latest information from the ESA. That's if you can rely on that. Multiple fire crews are staging at various locations. 
with the Namadji Visitors Centre being used as a forward command post. Thawa was also being set up as a secondary staging area but has not yet been activated. Ms Whalen urged people not to be concerned if they see emergency service personnel in their area. Okay. They're either doing a reconnaissance or they are forward posted to support an early response in support of the community in order to keep you safe, she said. Um, when I was in Belconnen yesterday, I think it was yesterday, no, day before, um, the, uh, the heat, um, the heat camera helicopter, um, that checks the heat in the area was, was, uh, doing it, <clears throat> excuse me, doing its rounds, um, it was flying back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and round and round and round, um, yeah it was it was a it was a constant um thing in the sky on saturday afternoon 19 firefighting units are trying to contain the fire that started in the Aur auroral valley about 1 50 p.m on monday so that was today um okay we'll play this didn't want it to be a long video, I always say that. As we advised you earlier, there is a bushfire that is burning in the Namadji National Park. This fire is being referred to as the Auroral Valley Fire. This fire is currently at watch and act warning level. It remains eight kilometres to the southwest of the Thawa village. This fire may affect people in Thawa and the Auroral Valley. We have issued a Watch and Act warning to landholders and mobile phones in the Thawa, Smith Road and Nace Valley areas. At 6pm, the fire was approximately 1,044 hectares in size, travelling in a southeast direction. However, spotting five kilometres ahead of the main fire to the east and south. The fire remains uncontained. Landholders and residents are urged to activate their bushfire survival plan and follow their farm wise plans. If you do not have a survival, bushfire survival plan, okay. you this can is download much this plan from our what I was reading anyway. Website. Access to the area is restricted. Okay, moving on. Eleven helicopters and large air tankers are conducting water bombing and aerial surveillance. There you go, they're the words I was looking for. Aerial surveillance. They were doing that on Saturday um, as well. Uh, Ms. Whalen said the cause of the fire would be investigated. Late on Monday afternoon, the New South Wales RFS was pulling its crews off the Cotter, Cut, Cotter Hut Road as the fire began to impact that area. Local property owner and RFS Southern Districts Brigade member Steve Angus was on his way back from the New South Wales South Coast late on Monday afternoon. The RFS had sent heavy plant... The RFS had sent heavy plant to his property and he said he had been getting updates on the fire from his brigade members okay um, we're pretty well prepared for it if it comes he said the house is well protected the cattle are okay and there's not much grass to burn um, I've noticed with these fires even when there's not much grass to burn it still burns um, a tanker was sent to the Namadji Visitors Centre along with two dozers. Water bombing efforts are being carried out. Okay, that's the flight path of the helicopter, firefighting aircraft. This flight path from the firefighting aircraft gives a fair indication of where the fire is currently at. Okay. Oh, 
I'm not going to play it. I'm just, I'm over it. I'm so over it. I just wanted to get this out. Um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll put the link in the description. There we go. There's a better map. Okay, so where my dot is? Oh, okay. We'll go to Twitter. Something went wrong. Go back. The fire. The fire in the middle of the screen, with Namaji National Park written underneath it. That's the one. Um, that they're worried about now. Uh, the one at the top of the screen is um, growing in size. I see updates saying it's uh, 400 and something hectares in size. Then I see updates saying it's 800 and something hectares in size. And then it goes back down to 400 and something. It's up and down. Uh, and that's the one next to the airport. Um, and as you can see, the the fires are obviously spotting when it get when the wind blows in the right direction. The fires are obviously spotting from this big one on the left. Um, yeah. So anyway, that will do. Um, that's the update. Again, be safe all. Um, doing what I can to get out. Uh, I've just had enough. I've just had enough of the heat and the smoke. Um, yeah, so sorry for the tone. Um, okay, uh, love you guys. Be safe and see yous.